So food is a huge part in any culture. So let's start with the most famous dish in Saudi Arabia, kapsa. It is considered the national dish of the country. So you know, you can't go wrong. Kapsa is an aromatic rice and roast chicken dish served on large communal platters so you can all share. The rice for this dish is cooked in the same water that is used to cook the chicken and is flavored with a blend of spices such as ground coriander, ground cumin, black pepper powder, red chili powder, ground cloves and ground cardamom. It is often served with salata hara which is like a spicy tomato sauce and is topped with fried onions, raisins and oftentimes pine nuts. <sighs> I'm hungry and we literally just started. Now it should come to no surprise that one of the most popular foods available in Saudi Arabia is shawarma. Found almost everywhere you go, shawarma is a staple Arab dish that consists of meat cut into thin slices, layered on top of each other in a huge cone-like shape and slow roasted on a spit. The meat is then stuffed in khups, which is a Arab bread, I should have said that. Topped with pickles, french fries and tahini sauce, rolled into a sandwich and served. Ah. While chicken shawarmas are the most common throughout the kingdom, you also can find beef or lamb shawarmas in most restaurants. Now these places are always bustling and it's a cheap and delicious meal. Love it, recommend it. I want shawarma now. Haresh is one of the oldest dishes in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia and is considered a staple during the holy month of Ramadan. The spices used to cook haresh depend largely on the region you know you find yourself in. Though in most cases cardamom, cumin and cinnamon are used. The basic ingredients for this dish include uh, coarse ground wheat, meat and oil and butter which are all thoroughly mixed to form a kind of homogeneous mixture that slightly resembles oatmeal. And the dish is often served topped with fried onions and garlic. And when I first had it I really thought it's oatmeal. I loved it. Very heavy on the stomach, but hey, I mean, uh, who's counting calories? Kibe can easily be thought of as the optimum of Saudi Arabian comfort food, and uh, who doesn't like comfort? The word kibe comes from the Arabic word kuba, which means a ball. Made from a fine paste of bulgur, wheat and meat, kibe are deep fried croquettes consisting of toasted pine nuts and spices. To prepare kibe, bulgur wheat and ground meat, which is usually lamb or beef, are first processed together to form a fine paste. This paste is then shaped into balls, stuffed with a mixture primarily made of, of pine nuts and spiced meat and fried. You can also find them baked or served raw in some places. Laban in Saudi Arabia, a healthy fermented milk drink. It is often consumed while having the meal saying it makes it easier to digest. But I gotta warn you, you will feel tired afterwards. It's just a good excuse for a power nap. Or two. Or three. Mamul is an ancient cookie filled with fruits and nuts such as dates, walnuts and pistachios. The cookies are traditionally prepared for Easter, festivals and celebrations and they are typically shaped into balls or domes. In order to differentiate the cookies, the walnut version is usually shaped into a dome with a round top, the date mamul is shaped into a dome with a flat top and the pistachio mamul has an oval shape so you can uh, see what you're eating and know before. It is not uncommon for the cookies to be topped with powdered sugar for extra sweetness and they are often served with coffee or tea during the day in many Middle Eastern households. Salek is a traditional rice dish consisting of short grain rice cooked in a chicken meat broth. Hailing from the Hijaz region, which is uh, on the east in Saudi Arabia, salik is a creamy porridge-like dish that is generally eaten during special occasions and in the colder month. Colder meaning it's still freaking hot. Salik is a relatively easy dish to make and consists of just few simple ingredients. Rice, roast chicken or beef, milk, olive oil, butter or ghee, and a mixture of spices. It is served on a large circular plate, which is called tabasi, with the chicken or beef sitting directly on top of the rice. Man, that sounds good. Rus al Bukhari, also known as al fam, is a fragrant rice dish that usually comes served with roast chicken. So you see a lot of rice, a lot of chicken, but hey, who doesn't like that? The dish features a variety of spices such as cinnamon, cumin, cardamom and star anise and is often topped with raisins and fried onions. 
It is served with a spicy tomato sauce on the side, the salata hara we talked about before. And some variations of the dish also include almonds and pine nuts. I need to stop talking about food. I'm getting so hungry. Albeck, uh, this is a funny one because it's a fried chicken fast food franchise, but it is by far the most beloved one in all of Saudi Arabia, especially by the youth and the working class employees. Now, people love fast food in Saudi Arabia, but Albeck is the king of fast food. It was so sought after that the people would drive, you know, hundreds of kilometers from Riyadh to Jeddah just to fill their cars with Albeck and then go back to Riyadh and resell it with a profit. You know, now Albeck opened up stores in Riyadh as well and other big cities such as uh, Dubai, for example. You now I warn you, you will most likely run into a queue waiting in front of the restaurant, but I can tell you, it's so worth it to try out. Arabic coffee and dates, and you will have lots of that in Saudi Arabia. You, you know, for a good reason. It's good and, and I'm saying it's good and I don't really drink coffee. Arabic coffee looks, smells and tastes like no other. Now you must know it is seen as the most basic symbol of Saudi Arabian hospitality. You know, it's served in businesses, cafes, homes, on the street, at companies, hotel lobbies. You know, you get the thing, the list goes on. Even in the desert, you know, my friends brought it with them even into the desert. How did that make you hungry? Did for sure for me. But before you head to Saudi and try those foods, make sure to check out these top 10 places you absolutely must see when visiting Saudi Arabia. You know, they are stunning 